Steve Ferrano here with Ask a Real Expert. This question is from Jam Man. He says, Steve, I was 196, waist at 44 inches, chest at 43, neck at 16 and a half. My measurements now are 178 as far as weight, waist 37, chest 39, neck 15. Great. Doing 40 minutes of cardio five days a week. Uh, and he's working out Monday, chest and tries, uh, Wednesday, back, shoulders and biceps, all the other days, uh, cardio, but he's not getting any results. Okay, two things I'm going to tell you, Jam Man. Knock off the protein shakes. It's extra calories you don't need. Second thing I'm going to tell you to do is, hey, you're getting in shape, okay? So your weight loss, which used to be two pounds a week, is one pound a week because now your body's not working as hard, which is a good thing. Okay, but if you want to continue that calorie utilization, get rid of that extra calories from the protein shakes. You don't need it. And the 40 minutes of cardio done five days a week on a treadmill, that's good. But here's what I would do. I would kick that 40 minutes down to maybe 30 minutes and throw in some walking and jogging. Or if you're going to stick with the 40 minutes, time to incline that treadmill significantly. So remember, your calorie utilization has probably slowed down because your weight has dropped by almost 20 pounds. Number one, and number two, your body's getting in shape, and number three, you're taking in too many calories from protein shakes. Okay, knock off the morning protein shakes and the one after your workout. You don't need it. Uh, let me see, who else we got here? We got a question from uh, Contusion. He says, Steve, with regards to bulking and cutting, I have no idea if it's a myth or not. Some say it, it's must. You must do it to take excess calories in order to build muscle. Okay. Let's talk about this for a second. When we're talking about bulking and cutting, a lot of guys like to bulk because it gives them free range to eat as much food as they want. Yeah. It makes you bigger and stronger because you do have the excess calories. But the muscle comes because you're training, not because you're eating. Or you could just bulk your way to being huge and not have to work out. But the problem with bulking and then cutting is, let's say, and use some simple numbers here, you're at 180. You want to go to 200. And you bulk up and you just eat and eat. Next thing you know, you're 200. Man, your strength goes through the roof and you're bigger. But you're also fatter, okay? But the point is, is why would you want to now be 200 and bigger and fatter? I'd rather go from 180 to 185 and make sure all five pounds are muscle. Okay, so now you're 200 pounds. Now you're going, man, I got to get rid of this extra blubber around my waist. What do you do? You cut back your eating and you start doing cardio, which is no fun. And most people then don't do it. So they stay at 200 pounds and get bigger and fatter from there. So now you got to do cardio and you got to diet and get cardio and diet. You get down to 185 if you're disciplined. Well, you know what? You could have done the exact same thing without having to bulk up and put on all that fat by just eating slightly more and lifting intensely and bringing your body weight from 180 up to 185. So that way, all the weight you gain is muscle. It's not fat. That's the short, simple answer. Can you build muscle without a surplus of calories. Absolutely. At some point in your lifting career, if you've been lifting long enough, hard enough, and you've maximized your muscular potential, you've heard me say that before, you cannot build any additional muscle because your body would then need additional calories because your body is only so efficient with the number of calories it takes in. That's another video. Okay, because that's a long, complex process. But for the average guy, for the average ham and egger, for the average jamoke out there, most guys just don't lift that hard or that heavy or that consistently. That's why guys like me or who, guys who train with me say, hey, Steve, what should I start eating now that I'm training with you? I go, don't worry about it. Just get you, have your ass here at the gym at 5 o'clock and we're going to train. And in six months, they end up putting on 10 to 15 pounds. And you're like, man, I, you didn't tell me to eat anything in particular. But my appetite's been picking up because I've been training harder. Yeah. So they end up packing on additional muscle because they're eating just a little bit more. And that utilization of calories is, goes towards building muscle and non, not excess is stored as fat. So that is the concept uh, of bulking. How much muscle can you make? 
depends on how hard you train, how much you're eating, and so on and so forth. That's another long video. But anyway, those are the answers. Train hard, train smart.